everybody, my name's Melanie Newman and welcome to our grooming channel. We have the most delightful Zoe the Moodle with us today. In today's grooming session, I'm going to scissor Miss Zoe's face nice and round. So I'm going to share with you how I'm going to achieve that. But before we begin with that part of our grooming session, I'm just going to go back one step and I'm going to share with you how I'm going to dry her little face. So I like to use a stand dryer. I like to use a relaxed co-conditioning spray as well as our slicker and I really prefer this slicker because the pins on the slicker are really really close together so what that means is when we're going through her coat it separates the coat really well and gets that coat super straight and stretches it out as we're drying her and our fine tooth comb. I like to use a fine tooth comb when I'm drying our dogs as well as scissoring because the same as our slicker, the pins are really fine and they're really close together. So when I'm going through her coat, it separates her hair really well. So let's get started. Before I begin to dry her, I'm going to spritz her little face with the relaxed coat conditioning spray and then I'm going to go through with the slicker and the comb and just brush out any knots and tangles. Using our slicker to just gently stretching and drying our coat and trying to get that coat as straight as possible and just working through with our slicker. Using the corner of our slicker to gently separate that hair around the muzzle. and making sure we've dried all the coat underneath her jawline. And then her little ears and drying both sides. Face is almost dry using our slicker. I'm going to use our fine tooth comb and just go through all her coat and make sure it's all separated nicely for when we start scissoring it. Drying her little muzzle, it's super important that we really separate that coat. Okay, her coat is completely dry and she is a poodle mix, so her coat naturally curls. So this is why her coat stands up. But if we didn't separate that coat as we're drying, and if she had big clumps of curl left in her coat, what can actually happen is when we're scissoring her coat, it's going to look okay and maybe a little bit even when we're scissoring but in a day or two she's going to have bits sticking out everywhere so when we're drying our dog's coat we want to try and stretch that coat out and try and take out as much curl as we possibly can so when we're scissoring our dog's head that it's going to come out super even and we're going to have a really smooth finish on our dog's head and that's what gives our dog a really beautiful sweet expression when we're choosing a style for the dog that we're grooming it's important that we really look at our dog's little face so we want to show the best features of that particular dog so for example zoe has the most beautiful dark eyes so i like to make that a feature and i like them to really pop but if she had a light eye I might make more of a frame around those eyes to cast more of a shadow. Zoe has a short little muzzle. So for me as a groomer, it's perfect for creating a nice round shaped head. 
her ears I like to keep them natural because if I cut them too short it might make her a little bit too boyish and I like her to look quite cute and quite girly so to begin to create our roundness I need to find where our center is so if we look at her little face we've got her two eyes and her nose and this forms a little triangle so that little triangle I try and keep in the center and I try to keep everything even on both sides so this side's nice and even to that side and from the top of her skull and then the bottom as well so I'm keeping everything nice and round so that's how I try and create that roundness in her little head using my fine tooth comb I'm just going to gently comb back her little fringe because I'm not going to cut that yet we're actually going to scissor in front of her little eyes the corner of her little eyes so using my fine tooth comb I'm just going to pull that hair out in the corner of her eyes getting that ready to scissor with my thinners and these thinners are a P&W Spartan 65 tooth thinner using our fine tooth comb to pull all her fringe hair back but then using it again to pull out that hair that we're going to cut off in the corner of her eye and using our thinners coming up against the direction of the hair growth and we're only cutting small amounts as we go and now we're going to come in with our thinners and take out in between the corners of her eyes and again I'm going to come in and go with the direction of the coat so before we were coming up and that's against but now we're going to go with and I like to hold back any hair I don't want trimmed and coming over this hair because we actually need this hair to create that nice round muzzle so I like to come over and then just gently use the tips of the thinners I prefer to use my thinners rather than clip her eyes out just because I like a softer expression and sometimes when we clip it can be a little bit too harsh and I like her features to appear soft and then I'm going to pull down probably about a centimetre of hair over her eyes so this area is what helps frame her face so remember earlier we were talking about those beautiful dark eyes I don't want to hide them but I want them to appear more as a feature so when you look at her you just look at her dreamy little eyes and I'm going to come in on a 45 degree angle and scissoring to the outside corner of her eye on a 45 degree angle because if I take that all off we're not going to get that lovely framing around her little eyes and just using our comb to just cross check and again on that angle that nice 45 degree angle and we can see the shape that we're making so we're just creating a little bit more depth for those eyes and then I'm just going to pull down a little bit more so it's probably half of the hair on her skull and then still on that nice 45 degree angle and I like it to come straight outwards not up still on that nice angle my PNW blacksmith curves I love these scissors 
I'm going to come at the front of her muzzle because I also want to create roundness from the side as well as the front. So coming in and pulling her ear back. Use our comb and then up into her ear. And I like to scissor nice and short around her ear canal. And her other side, I'm actually going to do in two steps. So coming up into her ear canal, so nice and short. And then flipping my scissors around. And a little bit shorter towards her muzzle. So we're beginning to start that nice round shape. And now I'm going to start scissoring from underneath her jawline and then just coming up to her cheek area and creating that roundness. And I'm only taking off small amounts at a time. And doing the same thing on the other side. Just combing down our jawline and making our two ends meet up in the middle. So I've blocked in from her jawline to her cheek area. So now I'm going to continue up the top of her skull and bring this in nice and round. So instead of just starting from her skull, I like to start with the area that we've just scissored. So I'm following that line. Just so her little head becomes all one instead of two parts. And then starting from where we've previously scissored and coming up to the top of her skull. And then once we've roughed in the shape of our head, we're just going to go back through with our fine tooth comb and pull out all our coat. And this will just make sure that we've got all those little hairs. And I'm going to pull out all those little hairs around her little muzzle. And then I'm turning my curves upside down. So I'm using the other side of the curve. And then I'm just snipping off those little dark hairs. And this also creates a nice little frame for her little lips. And now using my thinners, and I'm going to use my thinners with the direction of the hair growth. So if I start going against, I'm actually going to cut too much hair off and then I might start bulk reducing and I want a nice full thick head of hair. So gently going with, and this just softens those sharp edges. Same thing under that jawline. And then using my thinners to soften around that eye area. It's 
just pull her little ear back, comb up, and then going with the direction of the coat, and soften those edges. And then comb out her transitional line. So a transitional line is from where we've clipped and then where we've scissored her little face. And I'm going to use my thinners to balloon that in. And then her other side. I'm just going to comb down her little fringe and then using my thinners I'm going to just come in and just tidy up that area so we get that nice soft frame around her eyes. So if you remember earlier, this line was quite sharp. So we're just rounding it off with our thinners. So it just gives a soft expression. And bringing my thinners across the top of that skull. Again, just softening our scissor lines. And using my thinners at the front of her muzzle, so we start to achieve that nice round curve into her cheek and jaw area. I'm going to start to shape the top of her muzzle and I'm going to begin that by coming in behind the hair that we're keeping. and not taking out too much and just shaping that hair into the top part of her muzzle. The hair on the top of her muzzle lays downwards so it falls downwards so if I was to try and scissor that if I brush it all up she'll have hardly any hair left on the top of her muzzle so what I'm going to do is just comb it out to where it naturally lies and scissor it like that. So I'm scissoring with the direction of her coat growth because again if I come up against it's going to start bulk reducing and then she's going to have no hair left on that muzzle. So I'm just taking off the wispy bits and just using the tips of my thinners and I'm starting to blend where I've used my thinners into her muzzle area and then into her jawline. So we've got no squareness, it's all nice and round. And I like to just take off the fuzzies on the top of her muzzle because I like those little eyes to pop when you're looking straight ahead at her. And then her other side. Once we've used our thinners to soften all those edges on our dog's head, then what I like to do is just pull everything out with our fine tooth comb just to make sure we haven't missed anything. So brush it all different ways and check our transitional lines to make sure they're nice and neat and tidy and I've missed a little bit underneath there. So I can go back through with my thinners just to soften that through and blend that into where our body is. Thank you. 
and then pull our dog's ears forward and make sure we've got all those little hairs behind our dog's ears. Okay, so Zoe's head is all finished. I've completed all the scissoring I need to. I like to keep her ears nice and natural and a little bit wild because I feel like she has a really sassy personality and this really suits her character. If you're finding it challenging to scissor smoothly, what I suggest is use your metal comb and keep pulling out that hair because the more you pull out, the smoother and the more even your trimming is going to get. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and Zoe is dying to get down on the floor and play with baby Arby who is a three and a half month old Bichon. So I'm gonna pop her on the floor. So if you guys have any questions, pop them in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. And until next time, happy grooming.